early in the world of biology, scientists believed um, in classification or in the organization of life on Earth. Essential to scientific experimentation, organization and classification became an art. Aristotle, for example, thought about classification of organisms, but he did so in a very different way than we currently do in modern biology. He was astute enough to recognize that there were distinct differences between plants and animals, but without a microscope to see much of any other uh, life on the on planet, he only formulated two categories of living things to fall into, plants and animals. Not his fault, this was more than 2,000 years ago. He and other philosophers categorized living things also by their red-bloodedness. Uh, the same way we're sort of used to classifying uh, vertebrates and invertebrates. From those divisions of plants and animals, many individuals of the time categorized organisms also uh, based on shape and structure um, and their environment or where they lived. Much of this was fine except that um, now modern scientists um, now account for evolutionary change. While back then uh, sci uh, philosophers actually believed that organisms were fixed throughout their lifetime and for generations beyond. They were unaware of genes and microorganisms like bacteria and so on. But many others, including a Swedish botanist, came along to develop a system of organization in the 1700s called taxonomy that would serve as the foundation for our current system of classification.